So hi everyone, in this video we're going to be deriving the Hicksian demand functions from the expenditure function that we've had in the last video. So again, we were able to derive this expenditure function from the indirect utility function uh, by means of duality. And one way for us to be able to derive the Hicksian demand functions if we have the expenditure function is through the use of something called Shepard's. Okay, so Shepard's. Lemma. Okay. So it's a mathematical theory. And according to Shepard's lemma, okay, a Hicksian demand function, so Xic, which is some function of prices and utility, a given utility target or a utility level, is gonna be equal to the first order partial derivative of the expenditure function with respect to a good's own price. So say we were trying to derive the Hicksian for good one, we derive this with respect to P1. For good two, we derive this with respect to P2. So if we apply Shepard's lemma, we should be able to derive Hicksian demand functions, which are functions of prices and utility. Okay, so um, let's try to derive that. So say we want to derive X1C, okay? Again, the formula for that is we derive the expenditure function with respect to P1. Okay, and what will happen is um, we're going to derive this form. So this is much easier to derive. We don't have to go through all the rules. So exponent of P1 is alpha. So it becomes um, alpha U P1 raised to alpha minus 1, alpha raised to negative alpha, P2, 1 minus alpha, then we have 1 minus alpha, alpha minus 1, okay? Then uh, let's just simplify this a bit. If you notice, um, we have two alphas here. So the exponent of this alpha is just 1. So we have alpha raised to 1 minus alpha times u. Then p1 raised to alpha minus 1, p2, 1 minus alpha. Then we have 1 minus alpha, alpha minus 1, okay? Or this is just the same as me saying u uh, times, okay, alpha p2 all over uh, 1 minus alpha p1, all raised to uh, 1 minus alpha, right? So that's the Hicksian demand function for good 1, okay? Then we can derive the Hicksian demand function for good 2. And then this will be in uh, in this form. So we have x to c, p1, p2, u. This is, again, the first order partial derivative of the expenditure function with respect to p2. So we get here uh, 1 minus alpha, u, p1, alpha, alpha raised to negative alpha, okay, p2, uh P2 will now become 1 minus alpha minus 1, or negative alpha. Then we have 1 minus alpha raised to uh, alpha minus 1. Okay. Now, note, we have 2, 1 minus alpha here. So the exponent of this is 1. So if we combine the 2, 1 minus alpha, we get uh, 1 plus alpha minus 1. So that's just alpha, right? That's just alpha. Okay, so this is going to be... 1 minus alpha raised to alpha u, then uh, everything here is as is, p1 alpha, alpha negative alpha, p2 negative alpha. Then this is the same as saying u times um, 1 minus alpha, p1, all over uh, alpha, p2, uh, raised to alpha. And this is the Hicksian demand function for good 2. Okay, so that's uh, the Hicksian demand functions. And uh, that's how to derive the Hicksian demand functions from the expenditure.